Let me be the first to welcome you to spring of 2024, at least here in the Midwest. The birds have flown back, they are waking us up in the morning, and the trees have started to bloom. And I've taken a closer look at the house to realize that we are in desperate need of some deep spring cleaning. So if you're looking for spring cleaning motivation, you clicked on the right video. Join me as I go through my house room by room, taking on all of this winter buildup. Of course, the first and best thing that you can do for your home when it hits springtime, we're looking at the 60s, 70s weather, is open up those windows, let the light in, let the fresh air in, that breeze blowing through your house, taking out all of the stale winter air with it. I've got the whole day to clean today. I'm gonna go through room by room and take you along with me. Grab a snack, grab a vacuum, let's get cleaning. <music> All right, I am officially starting my spring cleaning for 2024. I've technically already started, I've done a few rooms here and there. This morning I sat down and made a list of all the things that I need to get done around this house. I'm not gonna get it all done today, but I've sorted it out by room and I at least wanna get the first good chunk of the list. This probably means that we're gonna end up having two spring cleaning videos. We're gonna pretend like it's last week when it was 72 and springy and just not look at the temperature for today. We're gonna start here in the living room. Yesterday I did a little tidy up, but I was noticing in that tidy that we needed to do a deeper dive. There's some crumbs, there's some goldfish hiding down in those couch cushions. I'm out of Swiffer pads, so I'm just gonna spray some multi-purpose spray. This is one of my favorite scents, basil, um, on one of my mop heads. The texture of the mop head that I'm using is pretty much a microfiber fiber, fiber. I've tried to say it so many times, microfiber cloth. So um, all that dust is just clinging onto it. Only a few pieces fell on the floor, which is fine. We're gonna hit it with the vacuum later. But what I love about this is you can pop it off and run it through the wash and I don't have to go out and buy reusable Swiffer head things, refills. <laughs> Let's talk cleaning because this is a cleaning video. Best cleaning, best way to clean, best practices is always starting top and working your way down to the bottom. So starting off with the fan, dusting. If you've got anything else you're gonna clean like the walls or your windows, something up high, work your way down to the bottom. That way you're not getting to the end of your clean um, and having to redo something because you knocked dust off later. So the last thing that you usually wanna do is hit the room with the vacuum and I will be doing that later. But for now, we're starting with these sofas. If you have anything in your rooms that you're cleaning that you need to wash, sheets, cushions like this, you're gonna wanna do that at the, towards the beginning of your clean. That way they can wash while you're cleaning. You're getting two things done at once and you're using your time the best way. When you're wrapping up your clean, everything will be dry. You can put it back together. Um, that's just one of the ways that I manage my time. So these sofas are actually surprisingly still very white and they're pretty low maintenance. I got these from Castlery and we've had them for a while now. I love them. They do technically say on the cushions not to run the fabric through the wash, but I've done a test, a test patch before and I found a way to make sure everything turns out fine without harming the cushions. So if I can wash something, I'm gonna wash it because one of the ways that odors stay in your house is by clinging onto fabric. So I am taking this couch apart. I really only do this once or twice a year or if there's a spill, um, a bigger spill. And I am running, th running these through the delicate cycle and then I will hang dry them. So that way we can have the freshest, cleanest couch. Before I run these through though, one of the things that you'll notice just because it is a white sofa and we have black socks in this house is that occasionally we get some pilling on the fabric. Honestly, I don't think it's a lot I, for um, compared to other couches I've had, but I've got this little tool that I picked up off of Amazon that is perfect if you have any kind of pilling on your sofas or really on your clothes, anything. This fabric shaver gets it right off. I need to change the batteries in here. It's kind of starting to die, but I ran this over all of the cushions before I threw them in the wash and it gets all that off. Everything looks brand new and I highly recommend that if you have any pilling, it can make your sofa look so fresh even without washing it, just with running this little fabric shaver over it.
what's funny, honestly, one of the hardest parts about making these videos for me is recording the voiceovers and trying to find the balance between talking about cleaning and what I'm doing on the screen or just talking about random things that are unrelated because I don't really know what people want to hear. And normally I don't feel like I'm someone who has a lot to say. I'm usually up in my head. So it's kind of unnatural for me to be just talking, just chatting away. So anyway, um, I just use the Tide free and clear there. And then I am taking to the couches. Normally I'd run this, run over this with my Dyson because it has an attachment that works really well. But I've had this Shark Mess Maker for a while now and it has such a strong suction that I just wanted to go ahead and start with it because the edges, the little crumbs that get down in the edges there, I don't even know what that was. It looked like mulch, but the crumbs are in the edges. I find stick on this fabric that is at the bottom of the sofa. I really like it because the cushions have Velcro, so they do not slide around at all on here, but that just means that the crumbs that get down in here stick really well. So this vacuum with the high suction, amazing. I'll link it down below. This is actually a wet dry vacuum. So if you go and drop an egg in your kitchen, technically you can suck it right up with this. And it is one of the strongest suction powers of the vacuums that I've tried out. Um, I use it, I had a clog, a clog in, was it the sink? I don't know, I had a clog in something and we sucked it out with this and it was awesome. Anyway, we're getting back behind the sofas now. That's an essential in spring cleaning is moving your sofas and finding all the hidden gems that your kids have thrown back there. Because this is our living room and you can kind of see back behind our sofas, I tend to get back there more often than I think most people do. I've seen some people leave that for three or four years before. No judgment here. But because you can see it, and we did have a birthday party recently, I have cleaned back here and you won't see very many toys. But later on, when I go behind the playroom sofa, I feel like that's going to be a different story. <laughs> forgot to explain the goal here so this does look kind of crazy but I got everything off of the rug because I have a new carpet cleaner I want to try out and this rug hasn't been cleaned in a long time this rug is fantastic because you can't even tell it hides all of the dirt so well I do vacuum it almost every day but we've never I don't maybe once I've gone over this with the carpet cleaner but our carpet cleaner broke so it's been a minute look at everything that came out of the couch there's some glitter in there some birthday party glitter and lots of dog fur so I am trying this out. This is not sponsored by the way. Occasionally I will do some shark sponsorships over on Instagram and they had sent me this to try out, but it's not a sponsor run. Um, I did love it though. So I will talk about it, but if anything's ever sponsored, I will let you know. And if you have any questions, you can comment them down below and I will answer them. So this is the first time trying it out. And I gotta say guys, this smelled so good. It actually reminded me of some sort of Maybe it was a perfume that I had in college, which is so random, mixed with a little bit of cleaner. And I love the smell that this left in the room. Took all the dog right out of it. This is the first time and the only time that I've used this carpet cleaner so far, but pros and cons right off the bat, I feel like it has such a strong suction because I went over this whole rug. It has a feature where you can go forward and it's wetting it. And then when you pull back, it's drying it, but you can also do just the dry mode. So I went over this rug twice just going back and forth with wet to dry. And then I went over it again on the dry mode and sucked everything, made sure everything was clean and out. And this rug felt fully dry. By the time that I put the cushions back on the couch, the cushions were still damp and the rug was dry to the touch. So that's awesome for a vacuum cleaner like this. I feel like they can leave your areas wet. Um, I'm gonna try on the carpet upstairs and see if that's still the case, but um look at look at what we got out of here that's just the first few passes guys that's so gross so um the con that i did have is that i feel like um the clean or the dirty water tank is pretty small where its max fill line is when it hits that it just shut off and stopped so you have to go and empty it and the tank itself looks full but where it actually lets you 
um, get dirty water up to is pretty low. So I had to empty it three, four times, I think, cleaning this rug alone. So that can be a little bit annoying, but hey, I will take it for a clean rug. Pausing briefly in between pours to grab those cushion covers out of the dry or out of the washer and then I'm finding all the spots that I have possible to hang them on. I normally only do one sofa at a time, but I knew I didn't have time today. And this is also the point in the day that I realized it's like 1:30 and I'm still on the first room. This spring cleaning takes a bit more time. Let's check in on our list because we have yet to do that. So we're still on this first page here. We did dust the fan, did the couch filling, behind the couch rugs, and we are currently washing them. I just haven't got to put back on yet. I think I'm gonna skip along up to Britain's room while this area is drying. Britain's room is usually pretty easy. Just gonna start with a quick tidy up, which typically she'll do herself. Um, but last night was not the night for that, so. You know what I'm curious about? If you have a home that has stairs or multi-levels, um, where is your washer and dryer? Is it upstairs or is it downstairs? Because I feel like it's more of a trend now to put it upstairs. Um, my parents actually have it upstairs in their house, so that's what we had growing up and I, that was kind of uncommon. And we had it upstairs in our last home, then moving here, it was back downstairs. Now it's as far away as possible from all of our clothing. It's right to the right of the kitchen, so you've got to walk through the entire house with the laundry. Um, and there's pros and cons to both floors. I just wanna know where you guys have it and do you like it there? I feel like I would probably pick upstairs now, but the pro about having it downstairs is that at the end of the day, I've got all of the wash rags, everything that I've used, I just throw, well, during the day, I just throw them in the washing machine as I go. And then I run a small load at the end of the day of all of the random things that I find downstairs, which is nice because it's an easy way. It makes it really quick to pick up the house. But then I get these piles of laundry, like the one I just went through that has like little bits of everybody's things and then towels, just randomness, random socks that I've got to find a home for because normally when I'm doing like a pile of laundry, I'm doing just Britain's laundry or just the big girl's laundry and I don't have to sort through it. And I found that these random loads, while it's nice to get them cleaning out of the way, I tend to let those sit more and not go through them because it's more of a task to do that and figure out where everything goes. Speaking of avoiding things, one of my cleaning tips that I talk about a lot is putting cleaning supplies in a room that you have to clean frequently. So like this room, I leave the disinfecting wipes up in the corner there so I can give this a quick wipe down daily or as it needs. Um, and it's just easier to get that job done because I've made it so easy for myself.
All right, that was a quick 10 minute, maybe tidy of Miss Britt's room. I will have to leave the deeper things for a different day. Check our list, we did trash can, laundry mirror, surfaces. We're gonna save the window tracks. We're gonna add going through her clothes. These baskets up here are the things that she's grown out of. So I need to take a day, sit down and go through, pull the next bin out for her. When this piles up is when I know that I need to do that. I'm starting to hurry myself a little bit because I know that Emmy's gonna get home soon and then that means the, the other girls are following along behind soon as well. So I am going to do a quick tidy in this playroom and then I'm gonna save the window tracks for the part two spring cleaning video, but there's plenty to clean up in here. This is the room at the end of the night where Britton and I will come and do kind of some one-on-one -on -one time right before she goes to bed. We spend like a half an hour in here playing. And then a lot of times we just like head over and go to bed. I don't pick this room up all the time. Sometimes she helps, sometimes I'll do it. It also looks great on video because it's a really good before and after. So sometimes I just leave it and film it. And you can do whatever you want with your own rooms. chug along and try to tidy up the other rooms and do a few of the things um, on the list and then I'll make this day I'll make this room a day because I really want to pull this out and run the carpet cleaner on this rug so that's gonna be up to be in the next video and we're gonna move on to my bathroom I hate that I have to do it but I'm gonna have to hit you with the part two on the playroom like I said we just sometimes do not have enough time in the day and our bathroom needs more attention than behind the couch right now. We can pretend that that doesn't exist for at least another few days. No one, um, oh, well, I guess in Britain did find a really old applesauce pouch, like remnants on the side of it and she tried to eat it, but I think that was the only one. I think we're okay and the rest is just toys back there. But we'll find out next week, tune in. Um, I'm going through the bathroom now with this Lysol foaming spray. Uh, like I said, we work top to bottom, so I usually do the mirror first. This foaming spray has a mind of its own and there's like no controlling it. So it usually splashes up on the window. And this scrub brush I was blessed with in a Walmart order. I did not order it, but they threw in this and a random, I think it was a bookmark. I don't know. I don't ask questions when the universe gives you scrubby brushes. You take them and you say, thank you. I will clean my bathroom with this. I actually really like it. I think it's a dish, a dish thing, but... I use it to scrub out the sink and then I don't have to go get um, like a scrub daddy or anything. I don't have to get my hand wet. So um, when I'm doing a quick one, I'll usually use that. And oh, look at me, I'm getting my hand wet anyway. <laughs> Never mind. I don't know why I said that. I'm scrubbing the counter down and then I will wipe everything down with a microfiber cloth. It might not look like it, but I use multiple microfiber cloths when I'm cleaning the bathroom. I've got one for the glass and the mirror. Um, and then I've got one for countertops or surfaces, and then I usually have one or two that I will clean the toilet area with because I do not, I'm not here for the cross contamination. I do not want, you know, the same rag that I use on the toilet to be used somewhere else. Anyway, that's what I'm doing. If you can't tell, there are multiple rags being used.
You want to know something funny is I used to avoid filming the toilet cleanings in my house because I felt like I didn't know what I was doing, wasn't doing it right. And now, oh, my cookies are done. Hold on. Now that I've been doing this so long and I watch so many other people on TikTok and Instagram do their cleaning, I feel like I finally learned the way to clean your toilet and all that to say this is not necessarily what I would normally do to clean my toilet. I typically use a Lysol or a Clorox spray but I did not want to go and get that and this foaming spray says that it dis disinfects so I'm just using that today and then my Clorox wand there I love it because I all of our cleaning things for the toilet are typically not in this room so I got one of these to keep in here so that we clean this toilet more frequently because it was definitely our most neglected one which it's so gross, guys. I don't know, but toilets were just my weak spot. So now I'm more on top of my toilets, so don't feel bad if you are not. All right, we're back downstairs. Emmy girl is about to get off the bus here in a few minutes. I'm gonna do a time lapse of putting these cushions back on because the bottom cushions at least usually take a while. I'm gonna do it back here so I can vacuum up any of the feathers that get lost along the way. So Nick works from home. He works down in the basement and he'll pop up a lot to say hi, take a bathroom break, or he usually works out during his lunch break. So occasionally he'll pop into the video there and he helped me put the rest of those cushions on because my arms were feeling it. The bottom cushions, I've got a like little trick to slide them in, but they're just so big and it's hard to do on your own. So thankful for his help. And then um, he grabbed Emmy off the bus. She's just relaxing and having a snack now. A lot of times we've got like maybe 30, 40 minutes before we either have to go get Charlie and Emerson or Charlie and Britton or my mom brings them back, which is what she did today. Again, so thankful. I love my village. But usually Emmy and I will spend our one-on-one one -on -one time in that 30, 40 minutes. She loves playing Mario Kart together. We've been working on, I got her a Pokemon Lego for her birthday so we could do that together just us which is the best i love finding one-on-one -on -one time with my girls and i try to make it a mission to squeeze in some of that every day so i've got this little time in the afternoon with emerson i've got britain right before bed charlie and i it's like we kind of have to find it but we have fridays where it's charlie is home with me and um britain is home and we've got two hours during her nap where it's just charlie and i so we have a tr we have a friday routine where we do the same thing every Friday together. So I love my girls, I love hanging out with them, um, but always gotta find that balance between work and momming. Also mental breaks, just mentally I've had a tough last few months. Sometimes it's just the winter months, but a lot, we've had a lot going on. And then we've also just been in this limbo area. We've got things coming up. We don't know if like what's actually gonna happen and a lot of things are up in the air. All that to say, that's why I've had a hard time focusing on editing lately at night i've just been relaxing we've been going through suits and we're almost done with it and when i finally get to the end of the day and it's time to watch suits i don't want to do anything else besides eat tacos and watch suits but i have a sink hack for you right here i left a pan on the bottom which made it like these rusty kind of stain spots this sink has been amazing and pretty easy to take care of if i ever have any kind of scuff or spot like that I can either use Barkeeper's Friend or this Scrub Daddy Tangerine cleaning stuff that I think it's all natural, but it takes everything right off. Very little scrubbing and I haven't had to worry about anything in here.
didn't get through much of the kitchen. All the girls are home now and hanging out in the playroom right next to the kitchen. So I just have to do the daily kitchen things and I'm gonna save the rest for the next spring cleaning video. Britain's just chilling here doing these Melissa and Doug puffy reusable stickers. They are one of our top favorite toys because we've had them for a while and all three of the girls love them. That and also a Tony box. She's doing that and she'll sit and she'll listen to one of the stories on the Tony while I am, usually it's while I'm cooking dinner here. The couch also left a few feathers behind here in the laundry room. is about all I can do today. I'm starting to make the girls dinner now. It's five o'clock. My legs are tired. Left on the list for the next video, pretty much all of the window tracks. Moving the couch in the loft, cleaning behind that, also cleaning the rug in the loft, doing the windows in there. Some more deep clean things in the kitchen, like the microwave, possibly behind the fridge and oven. I hope you got some good motivation from today. Thank you guys so much for watching. For watching. I'm about to wash, that's what I was gonna say. I'm washing all of the rags and things that I use today. Have a good rest of your day, and as always, happy cleaning.